Hey guys, in the fast lane here. Does your vehicle smell like pancakes and waffles every time you park? Every time you check your overfill bottle, it's lower than it usually is? Well, I'm going to show you where to look so you can find those leaks. So here's the first places you're going to want to check. Right off the radiator, we got the inlet right here at the bottom where the water pump pulls it. So you're going to want to check that, run your finger around it, see if there's any kind of antifreeze. Also, check the radiator itself. I noticed on mine right here, I got a little crack starting on the mounting bracket, but it's actually not leaking at all, so it's not a problem. It could be a problem later, so I'm probably going to hit it up with some epoxy just so it doesn't crack anymore. Another place to look is the return, which is right here. Just run your finger underneath it, come back to the radiator, run your finger underneath that, make sure that's not leaking. Also right here, this goes back to the overflow bottle. Check this connection, check any cracks in your overflow bottle. You got another line that runs right here back to the actual radiator itself. Check that. Make sure all the connections are good there. On this engine, there's an elbow on the back of the motor. And it's right back there, as you can see it. And check those. Make sure that it's not leaking. Kind of run your hand back there. Feel for it. A uh, good telltale sign for that one would be look on the transmission and see if it's soaking wet with some antifreeze or moisture and that'll let you know if that's leaking back there maybe the gasket broke. On mine I noticed on the elbow right here on the back had a little cut in it. As you can see underneath the bottom right here you can see where it's actually got a little bit of antifreeze a little bit of greenish with uh, the brown kind of rusting out the pipe a little but on further inspection right here on the top you can see it, the hose is splitting right there. See the hose splitting? So that wasn't good at all. So that's where my one of my leaks is. That's pretty much all the way through. Another place to check is on the bottom of your overflow bottle. Make sure that's leak free. Run your finger under that all the way back to the block. Check those connections. Um, you can pretty much look in there and see if there's any kind of corrosion happening on the block like green sludge or anything just kind of run your flashlight down in there and have a good look another sign would be the thermostat housing sometimes they crack or the hose clamps around them just don't seal tight enough and I noticed that I have antifreeze on it so this is where a leak is also as you can see right there see how it's a little bit darker on the plastic so that's where it's running off so I gotta check that out another way is to look below it I can zoom out for you and you can see the wiring harness right there you probably can't see it too well but that also has some kind of coolant on it also now chances are you're gonna have more than one connection on the thermostat housing so just check those out also you just follow them wherever they go and uh, feel for any kind of leaks another common problem is where the radiator seal is right here where it's pressed on in between there there's a uh, rubber gasket and if that you know gets corroded after time then that's gonna leak so check all around where it's pressed in all the way in the bottom um, one more thing is there's drain plugs too. check those out you got a drain plug on the bottom uh, that could be leaking also now I'm gonna use another engine this has a idle air control valve it's a Acura Integra GSR and pretty much the coolant lines actually run through the idle air control valve on this model and as you can see right there I don't have mine connected, but you can see that nipple right there. This is the idle air control valve right here behind the intake manifold. And you can see the nipple, and that'll leak sometimes also. Another leak would be on the back of the intake manifold. You can see right there where the water lines actually run through it. Those tend to leak too. And then last but not least, you got the heater core. Make sure um, your heater core isn't leaking. So if it's leaking inside the car when you run your air, then pretty much just eliminate that. If you don't want to have a hefty bill, just cap the lines off and uh, put, plug them up. And one more common problem would be the freeze plugs. On the inside of the block, they're on the back of the block. They look like bottle caps. And they tend to leak too. So um, a lot of people use the rubber um, caps. You stick them in there and you tighten them down and they expand instead of using the metal freeze plugs. So that's another problem that could be causing it. Last but not least, the water pump. As you can see, it's underneath the power steering pump here. And I'll zoom in a little bit. And this is the water pump pulley and behind the pulley is actual water pump. 
run your finger at the base underneath the water pump they have holes in them and eventually when the seals break loose that's where the telltale sign is they have a hole for a reason so you can tell that the inside seal is broken so if it's leaking in the bottom you're gonna have to replace the whole water pump hope you guys enjoyed this video go ahead comment like and subscribe also don't forget to check out my facebook page website and android app all that can be found on my youtube channel in the about me section i'm in the fast lane and i'll see you guys next time